The historical sources describing the Babylonian Empire are fewer compared to those describing the Assyrian Empire. The main reason for this difference is the style of historical writing. The rulers of Babylon used their royal inscriptions to emphasize building projects more than military campaigns. As a result, our knowledge of the stages of the empire's expansion is relatively limited. Yet, we do have a number of important sources of information, primarily the Babylonian chronicles. These texts list political key events in a dry laconic style. The Babylonian chronicles enable historians reconstruct the empire's history. At the end of the 7th century BCE, King Nabopolassar ascended the throne of Babylon. Nabopolassar was probably not a member of the royal dynasty, but rather an army officer who occupied the throne. After establishing his rule in southern Mesopotamia, he attacked central Assyrian cities. Nabopolassar's heir, the famous Nebuchadnezzar II, made the dominance of Babylon clear after his victory in the Battle of Carchemish in 605 BCE. Nebuchadnezzar excelled in his military campaigns and in his tremendous building projects. He restored and beautified the temples of the empire, developing especially the city of Babylon itself. The temple and ziggurat of Babylon were restored and a splendid royal palace was built. In biblical history, Nebuchadnezzar is of course known as the king responsible for the destruction of Judah and Jerusalem. Among the Babylonian kings after Nebuchadnezzar, we should mention his son, Awil Marduk, who ruled for two years only until assassinated by his nephew. Awil Marduk is mentioned in the Bible as having eased Jehoiakim's conditions of imprisonment in Babylon. The last king of Babylon was Nabonidus. Nabonidus was defeated by Cyrus the Great, the founder of the Persian Empire in the year 539 BCE. This defeat signaled the end of the Babylonian Empire. The history of the Persian Empire will not be discussed here. Although it is relevant to comparative research of the Bible, Persia itself is not part of Mesopotamia in terms of geography, language, and culture. You will find reading recommendations regarding the Persian Empire on the course website.